tail, scratch her back, point and shoot and shoot it fast. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. I don't wanna be your underground hero. I don't wanna be your underground. Hi guys, Lisa D'Amato here. I am doing another vlog. This is my third one. I'm super stoked. And once again, I'm in the car because it's quiet. It, I'm away from my kids and I can um, basically communicate without any interruptions. Um, this vlog is about how to get on Shark Tank. I was on Shark Tank the end of March 2019, which was about five months ago. Um, and I'm about to tell you how to get on Shark Tank and then also my experience with being on Shark Tank. So ultimately, I <clears throat> was communicating with the Shark Tank team for about seven months before I was actually told that I can go in front of the angel investors and go film in front of them, which is in Los Angeles, California. Um, it is a very long process. I think the my advice would be just to be incredibly persistent and consistent. Um, I was constantly making sure that I was at the top of their email list um, every couple of weeks, just checking in. Um, you have to send your products to their office. And of course, I did like there you go stickers and I wrote a really cute letter um with my products basically describing everything that's in it and granted I know they already got emails where it already included all that but like right when they open up the package I wanted that to be included as well so then they don't have to go into an email they can read it right then and there in the office you know BPA free TPE free PVC free seven months to seven years longest lifespan of any um product in its territory 48 percent of our landfill waste is on the go packaging if you can utilize dare you go then we can eliminate that from our landfill waste i mean i just put a list of all those things with dare you go stickers dare you go stickers hearts lisa d'amato <laughs> you know i think um being personable consistent and persistent um and then also just uh you know not giving up uh, is a big thing that I think helped and I'm very consistent and persistent a hundred percent um people wouldn't think that about me because I'm like fun and I'm like eat a cookie whatever but the truth is is I'm actually a really hard worker and uh, I'll stop at nothing um so there's that and then also um some things to just be aware of is that even when like preparing um for going live like filming in front of the angel investors that takes so long like we had to um you know there's so much information that you want to tell and you have to basically break it down going back to email and email conversations with the executive producers and kind of like shrinking down your messaging that you're going to present into something that's like small and that was really hard because there's so much information about there you go um, so that's just an example. Um, you have to send in a tape of, uh, like an example of the way you'd present in front of the investors. So like for me, I, we did a video in my driveway of me rollerblading with my, pushing my stroller, um, with the kids wearing the dare you go. And they're like, yeah, that's awesome but like we can't do that because of liability purposes and I was like boo fine I'll walk are you sure <laughs> you know that would be so fun if I rollerbladed in but they wouldn't have it um so there's little things like that that just keep getting like compressed and pushed and you know they go over the insurance and say yes and no to things um and then another thing is like um when I actually shot in front of them, um, there was probably about 30 other brands that were there in the studio with me that were planning on shooting that day or the next day because obviously they were put into a hotel and from all over the country. Um, and you have to be American too. My partner is Canadian and she couldn't be on the show. I mean, she could technically if she had like the more expensive visa, but she only has the expensive visa, not the extra expensive visa. So there's that to consider too. Um, another thing is even if you get flown from all over the United States and you actually do get to film in front of, um, in the studio, in front of the investors, the chances of you actually making it on air as an episode 
and a, and your own segment is like so slim. It's still only like a 20% chance, which is crazy. Um, the majority of the other brands that I was there with, they actually did not air, which is super nuts. There was a lot of dog, like pet things. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, um, also let's say they fly you down, right? You're staying in a hotel you film you could literally fly back and never be seen again you went all you did that whole thing took days and flights and hotel stayed in hotels and did six months of prep for your segment and never be seen which is crazy uh even for me they came out with the commercial promos for season 10 shark tank and they used my segment um, in the advertising, uh, and so I was like, oh my god, guaranteed, like, my segment's gonna air, right, no, they're like, no, that's not the way it works, I'm like, what, yeah, supposedly it's harder to be on Shark Tank, the TV show, like, your segment to air, it's harder than getting into Harvard, which is insane, um, I feel super privileged to have the opportunity, and obviously, it helped boost sales, as well as, um, letting the whole world know about my product because Shark Tank does, you know, it's on Netflix, so anyone can watch it around the world. Uh, it's super cool, but at the same time, it's really, really hard. Um, my segment, when I went in front of, when I was in the studio presenting my product, I was standing there getting drilled for about an hour and a half. Um, it was exhausting and I felt like I needed therapy afterwards because you kind of just feel like, um, you're getting attacked from every single angle when you feel so prepared to talk about your product, but then they're just arguing with you over things that obviously get ratings, right? Uh, for mine in particular, I don't know if you guys remember mine, but they're like, you're a liar. You're a liar. The worst part about her is she doesn't even know she's lying. I'm like, what are you actually talking about? In the very beginning of this, my segment, um, I told them that I felt super honored to even be there because I had been watching Shark Tank from day one. Um, so I just was super appreciative to be there. And then at some point, um, I was asked what they said was like what they thought the, why I asked for $350,000. Um, and I told them the evaluation of my product. Now it gets tricky. So, um, the baby market in gen worldwide baby market is worth $121 billion. And that was of an evaluation in um, 2019, the bid market, the bid market, um, in that 121 billion is 7% of that. 7% is just bibs. Since my product is a five in one, it's a food storage unit. It's a divider bowl comes with a spork and it's also a food catcher. Um, all one piece that's why it's actually worth more than the seven percent obviously so i went off of like 15 percent, possibly 20 percent of that baby market evaluation and then um they just went off on me and said oh you're a liar you're a liar you're a liar if you had been watching the show from day one then you would know that um we don't like it when you say the evaluation of the market that you're entering and it's like yeah I do know that but I also know that you give deals to people who do mention the evaluation of the market that they're in so that's bullshit that's television um in fact on my same episode the segment before mine he was talking about the evaluation of his market and he got a deal too so you know, it's just television. So I'm not mad at it. It's just, I'm not a liar. I actually do watch it. And I know that that whole thing is a joke. Um, so just believe in yourself. You can do it. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, oh, and my whole segment didn't air till nine months later from the time that I filmed. So you can just imagine how much a business has changed or grown in nine and a half months. That's how long. So those are all things to consider. Okay. That's my experience. Bye guys.